Hey everyone, this is absolutely the fastest way to reroll in Blue Archive. I learned it today on stream, so I thought I'd share it with everybody. So essentially what you do is you download, you install Blue Archive onto your BlueStex emulator. You know, you can use Cool App or you can download the APK from somewhere. But after you install it, you know, you want to open up the game and you want to completely, you want to play through it so it downloads everything. So later on, you don't have to download it. Pretty much I've already done that here. And I'm going to show you what to do after you do that. So hypothetically, I'm just going to, or not hypothetically, I'm just going <laughs> to click all this stuff. And I'm going to make it seem like I have an actual account on here. And you know, you could play through it um, just to see if you get your first godlike rolls and you never have to reroll ever again. But you know, that's kind of rare. That's not going to happen. But anyways, you do that. Pretty much, I made an account. Um, if you didn't know, this is where you type your name, etc. And then this next part, you actually have to type katakana in here because sometimes the game actually says your name based off that, but you don't have to do that. But anyways, I've made pretty much like a, like a, a dummy account just to show you. So now mine's pretty much the same as yours after you download and play through it. And what you want to do after this is you want to close the game and you want to now download Bluestacks <laughs> Blue Tweaker and you want to make sure you download the correct version matched with the Bluestacks emulator that you have and after that what you want to do is uh, make sure the game's closed and everything you want to install it and everything and you want to make sure that um, the BlueStacks emulator that you have here is active here, and you'll see that it's connected by that little green chain. You know, if it's not here, you can click the refresh button, and it'll show up eventually. But anyways, from here, after it's selected, you click File Manager, and then you go to scroll down here on the right side, hit Data. Oops, we didn't go far back enough. <laughs> not too far. Okay, all right, so you're going to go to Data. And then, uh, you know, data, data, if you don't see it already. And then you'll go to this one where it says com.yostarjp.bluearchive. You're going to click on that. And then from there, you click on shared prefs. And then the file that you want to delete, which is um, so you don't have to keep redownloading everything. You're pretty much deleting the profile. Uh, you delete this one. It's called eris sdk underscore shared dot xml. So you delete that. Okay, and um, pretty much you've set this, right? You've made your original. Think of it like you made, think of it like the original Iron Man suit that Tony Stark made. And he used that suit to, uh, he used that suit as a base to make his other suits. So pretty much we've made the original suit or the original emulator thing. So from there, uh, what you want to do is just close this, never open it up ever again, okay? And then you want to open up your BlueStacks multi-instance manager, and you want to find the original that you made. Sorry, these are all kind of mixed up because I've been doing re-rolling on Princess Connect. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the original, the BlueStacks 98 uh, N64 that I have here. Yours might be called, called something different. And now what you want to do is you're going to clone it. You're going to clone the base by hitting here and then make however many you want. Uh, my computer can comfortably handle three, four if I'm not streaming, but whatever. So I'm going to hit three. I'm going to create them. And as you see down here, three of them are made. And from there, I can open them all up. And I can, you know, Oops, let's wait for all three of them. Okay, there's all three. And I can just, you know, arrange them in everywhere else and start the game. So I'll start here, start here, start here. And I can't really click uh, auto align, but I would if I was just only having three instances at the moment. I have some other examples to show you. But yeah, so now you can start, um, start your accounts and re-rolling them. Uh, if you want to sync these accounts, these emulators together so you don't have to keep clicking on them individually you can click this little hamburger thing here 
and click sync operations and then you're gonna select the three that you have here okay uh, that one is uh, one two four one two five one two six so pretty much these ones sync selected and pretty much anything you do on this page on this emulator will happen on the other emulators just right now you can't click on anything because they're initializing the data and whatever um, yeah so we'll just wait for a little bit give it a sec I can hear my computer chugging a little bit but that's okay okay all right so they're all at 100 I think that's like probably one of the things that takes the longest all right so since they're all sync I can just click and they'll activate and, you know you do your things you click guest see how these are all new yeah, I made a new account. And you click, and you do your random stuff. And you know, you d you continue doing your roles. And um, <clears throat> if you don't like those roles, you just uh, you close them all out. Okay, and you actually don't need uh, blue sex weaker anymore from this point. So you close those out. These are the ones that you just made clones of. You delete all of them if you didn't get anything good. Okay, and then if you want to make more, you go back to the original, you clone it again, and you do the same thing over and over again. So that's the general way how to do it, and I believe that's the fastest way. And I, no, it, it definitely is the fastest way to do this, for sure. I believe so. Yeah. Anyways, uh, here's some cool tricks while you're rerolling. I've already set these up on the side uh, to show you. So let's say you do 1-1, one, one, right? You finish uh, the full tutorial of 1-1 one, one, and you don't, and you did your two rolls and you don't have enough for your third roll, right? Because for some reason you didn't roll 20 new characters. You didn't get this additional uh, special mission to get that extra 100. So you're missing that little bit to do one more roll. But no worries, you can do this thing if you're feeling patient with yourself. Uh, you just click down this little blue folder, which is, you know, the story mission stuff. And, um, you know, kind of bring you through this stuff. You just keep clicking. It's just telling you what to click. Okay, so you're going to click story. It's a story right there in Japanese. Click that. Uh, cute anime girl says things. You click on this uh, story, main story thing. And it's just a easy way to get... Oh, sorry. You get this easy way to get crystals or whatever they're called. Click, click. You watch the thing. You get 40 there. I'm not going to click it because I don't have to show you that. And then after you get your 40, you'll have 1170. The next thing you're going to want to do is just hit back. Sorry. Click that. Click this. And then this is going to open up. Click that. Click. Okay, and then you get 20. So that's 1190. So you're missing 10. But then after that, your missions will have enough. You click on that, you get your missions, you do your last rolls, and then, yeah, pretty much that. So that's with doing all of the 1-1 one, one tutorial. Now, if you want to skip the 1-1 one, one tutorial, let me show you this cool thing. All right. So, if you're trying to skip the 1-1 one, one tutorial, uh, this is how you skip it, essentially. So. Little anime girl is going to come up. She's going to talk to you and say, like, blah. You're going to click on that. And then it's the little yellow button. Now, this cool thing is that if you notice, after you click the yellow button, the screen is no longer grayed out. And you can actually mash click the home button to bring you back to the home. So let me show you that. So you'll click this. And then I'll mash this. Okay, I'm back home. Okay, I claim my bonuses or whatever. And then, you know, close out. And I got to immediately click on the gotcha thing. Because if I don't, then it's going to bring me back into 1-1. One, one, or something, it's going to it's gonna soft lock you. And you're going to have to close the game and reopen it. But anyways, from here, you're going to want to do one roll. You know, either one. I'll do this one. Everyone's been telling me on stream that this has the better characters in it and whatever. But you're going to have to sacrifice one of your roles. You see the cute anime girl. She does her role. Do I get something cool? Shale. Scale? I don't know. 
But anyways, you gotta do one roll, so um, it makes it safe to get out of the gotcha section. Okay, so now from there, yeah. Oops. Okay, cool. So now we can click the home button and get out pretty easily. Okay, okay, okay. She's talking. Momo talk. Momo talk. You just click through it, and she talks. She wants you to message this anime girl. Too bad. Go to the mail. Claim our stuff. And yeah, we get that much. So, if you noticed, we're only getting our three rolls here. We can't do our fourth roll like we normally do if we finished 1-1, one, one, but that's okay. Uh, you still kind of have to go through this kind of stuff. It's a little annoying, but then you just kind of mash click stuff until you get out. And there, you can go back to it. And you can do your rolls or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's how you skip 1-1 one, one entirely. You can still go back and do it to get the bonuses, but if you're trying to go through rerolling a lot faster, uh, this is the way to do it. You will miss out on one, uh, one tenfold, but you know, that's it. Uh, yeah. Anyways, that's that's it. Uh, uh, I'll have links for uh, everything that I downloaded, or I'll have links for BS Tweaker down below. And, uh, yeah, if you want to know what top tiers are and things like that, ooh, that one, that was pretty good, <laughs> top tier wise. Um, I can also link that too. Just remember when you're rerolling for top tiers and stuff like that, um, this is only the beginning, things will change, uh, stuff like that. And these two characters right here and here, these are you know, free characters that you get no matter what, so don't worry about these. These three are the main ones that you're going to want to get if you want the super god roll of three three stars and two two stars. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. My name is Metcalf. I stream every day on Twitch. Yeah, I hope this helped you. Take care. See ya.